Ladies and gentlemen, I am Yosel. Welcome back to Breathheads. Welcome back to Space, where I just need to open a couple of coffins with my newly constructed magnetic master key. It's absolutely not a crowbar. However, I think the developers are just ever so slightly bullshitting me because the progress meter says zero out of 200. Hmm. Yeah, I smell some fakery going on here, but since we've got to do it, let's get to it. Really, 200 coffins? Really? Well, journey of a thousand miles starts with a single step. Also, possibly the realization that that guy may not actually be real. He was jittering a little. You're doing great. You're almost there. Hooray! One down, 199 to go. I'm guessing these don't count because they're, well, dented somewhat. Anything else over here? No. But, well, let's dash back. There's a couple of other areas over there worth checking out, but there is this whole, you know, oxygen is not unlimited thing. You can, in fact, suffocate in space. And many other places, but suffocating in space is the primary concern at the moment here. As is the ominous music. Just pop this, dive back in. Three, two, and yay! Disaster has been averted, comrades! Once again, I do have an oxygen station, but uh, I was hoping to use that to get further into the radiation sector. Okay, let's see. Out and this way. Maybe. Go, 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 go. Uh, this, actually, this might be doable. 65. Halfway there, give or take. Just let the kebab power ramp itself up again. I really, really want some antacid tablets. Except for the fact that they would invariably result in the failure of my propulsion system. 44, 43, 42, 41. Such tubes are usually installed in the liner's service modules, where uh. they cut down expenses on artificial gravitation. Oh, thank you. Right, okay. Oxygen is almost out, but this is interesting. Um, what's this? Why is there a tool mark here? Scan. Shoo. Huzzah. I have a bit of a station construction. I think I'm going to just blow an oxygen candle. Pull back 40 oxygen. We'll head back to the ship. Chalk over our new uh, bit of stuff. I expect I'll be building a base later on. Yeah, I might be out here for a while. And then we're going to take a look at those two areas once we're and back and recharge. So, forwards, forwards, forwards. Start harder. That's something I never thought I'd have good cause to say, but there you go. We need more shrami kebabs. No, really, we need more shrami kebabs. That's how we're powering the... Yeah, this game has its moments. It's highly improvised and occasionally dubious toilet humour moments when it's not just going for things that make the Coen brothers take a step back and go, hmm, that might be a little excessive. Okay, take a step out, take a step up, and let's see, my next point of interest should be, yeah, up here. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Find stuff, find useful stuff, find coffins. Hooray, need those. And that blue flashy Smaller light, yay! Oxygen cylinder. You can make a blueprint of the real small oxygen cylinder, which is forbidden to be installed on any non-state suits, including Breath Edge Company funeral suits. Ah, what they don't know won't hurt them. In the meantime, though... Come on, just a little more. Do it before you realize that these mechanics are just artificially prolonging the gameplay. Yeah, don't say. Excuse me. Bizarre. Proper oxygen cylinder. Proper and thoroughly illegal. Right, full burn back to the shuttle. Hopefully I won't need to pop a candle to do this. 28, 27. You may have noticed that that 75 seconds is not actually 75 seconds. One, two, three, four, five. There, it might be. It might be. Time may be flowing as weirdly as the humor around here. Off break. In, in we go. And right. What do we need to build the oxygen cylinder? Equipment. Oxygen cylinder, compensator, thick electrical tape, and plastic. Well, the thick electrical tape I've got 
the compensator I'm going to have to build. What do I need to build a compensator? Alkalis, refined metals, and titanium. Ooh. I think I've got most of that. Um, where did my storage compartments go? Pop you open. Let's see. Refined metal. Titanium. Severed finger with a gold ring on it. Look, it might be valuable, okay? Don't question it. And alkali. Okay, that should do the trick. Anyone would think I was planning this. And if anyone does, they're ha ha ha, no. Right, one electronic compensator. Perfect. Now on next option, we need thick electrical tape and plastic to make thick electrical tape. We need rubber. Lots of it. Or I could just get some of the thick electrical tape I have in storage out, which solves the whole problem. It's over plastic. Yes, that was a large tartan handbag in the inventory as well. Don't question it. Huzzah! Yunk. There we go. I have my improved oxygen cinder, which is a uh, distinct improvement on the uh, ahem, inflated condom. No, no, I'm not joking. That is actually a highly inflated condom. How it hasn't erupted and sprayed its contents all over the uh, universe is beyond me. But then again, I assume they know what they're doing when they made it. Hmm. Very whole piece of spaceship. Baby's trying to get me killed again, isn't she? Why do you need a new spacesuit? I'm better than any new spacesuit. I recommend just upgrading to current equipment. For example, paint the helmet. I'm sure it will help. I think the suit might be slightly jealous at this point. Equipment. Painted helmet. Uh huh. Excellent protection against radiation, dark sunlight, and prying eyes. Lack of visibility, which is quite that. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, plastic I've got. Paint I think I left back over in the other area. Glass I have from chapter one, I had it stacked in the inventory. Oh, okay, well, this has possibilities. Paint. I have lead paint, but I don't have regular paint. Um, can I de-lead my paint? That would be possibly too easy. It would, in fact, be too easy. So, I'm going to have to find some paint, and then we can make our improved and extra radiation proof helmet. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. <sighs> I'd say maybe Babe wasn't all that bad for pointing me to the intact bit of spaceship, but we all know she's trying to get me killed for reasons that are not completely clear. Right, okay, let's toddle back over here now that suffocation is no longer quite such an imminent threat, and continue popping coffins as we artificially extend the gameplay. Yay! Are you sure you're playing the licensed game without hearing? Yes, my game is licensed. Congratulations! Yes, acquired, absolutely. But its analysis will take about three days. Oh. Ah, uh, nope. Three seconds are enough. Apparently, huh. the captain's bridge damaged the tank with mayonnaise on the port side of the liner. The mayo got pulled into the core's gravitational field, which increased its mass and decreased its activity. Bombarding the core with other similar debris may lead to a further decrease in its activity, probably. What's left to do is to find something with similar properties in mayo and not kill yourself with such experiments. Can we go for ketchup? Oops. We need to hurry. In this regard, I will calibrate the radiation sensor. You'll be able to get much closer to the liner, and we'll assume that you are not exposed to radiation at all. Excellent. Why are you exposed? Because I could be die. Hey, other survivors. On the Norman Mady. Your interlocutor has already mentioned this shuttle with survivors. It would be nice to find it before you actually destroy everyone. I will mark several interesting places that I found through the Kappa notification system. Thank you. And now I must load the radiation before I accidentally kill myself. Possibly. Maybe. 
Do we believe Faith? Oh, yes. Lawyers. Even here, they're still... Oh, I actually need to drink that So, Not drop it. There we go. And while we're at it, chug a nutrition pack as well. So... We have a new objective. I violated not only breath edge data protection protocol, but also entirely by accident. I repeat, entirely by accident. Crack the data uh, block, which I had insufficient privileges to access. From the information gathered, I can conclude that the agency coffins not only transmit information about obstacles, but also exchange strange encrypted data packets. Unfortunately, even when threatened with a drill, I wouldn't have enough power to decrypt it. You would need some military equipment here. So, we need the world's largest supply of mayonnaise, or something similar to it. We need some military-grade decryption software, and we need the Shuttle Normandy, which may or may not contain a lot of people who want to kill us. Because that's just how this game rolls from time to time. On the bright side, at least we don't have to actually vandalise any more coffins. That is now entirely optional. Yay? Also, we need another Shrama Kebab, and a few other bits and pieces. I suspect yellow water came into it somewhere, if I remember correctly. E oh, God. That isn't going to be bad fighting. That's going to be severe intestinal distress. For the moment, however, let's just smash a coffin a bit. Oh, we have a battery and some metal. I will admit being slightly disappointed, but hey, what do you expect? Let's push further in. 125 seconds on the oxygen tank. We'll just top it off here. Uh, hit the brakes, charge up. Yoink. Ah, ah. Yeah, I. Babe's advice in chapter one was consistently um, dubious. Very dubious. In fact, I'm trying to get you killed to the degree of dubious. What happened to this guy? Bunny ears? Okay, uh, right. Hmm. The state of things may be worse than these assumptions. A strange accessory for a man in his yes. 40s, unless he's at a Japanese culture festival. This does not look like a Japanese culture festival. But, and again, Japanese culture may have gotten even weirder since I last Auto checked. Cleaners. I always thought of them as useless equipment, but seeing the size of this ball of debris they managed to roll, it makes me start to respect them. Yay! Good auto the cleaners. Ball mostly consists of electrical tape. What a waste. Also, that must be the galaxy's largest reel of electrical tape down there. Now, let's see. I want my magnet. Oh, breath edge encrypted, but luck and the help of the interface is possible to calculate the coordinates of potentially useful debris. Have I actually got an interphone? Huh, garbage ball. That might come in handy, especially if it's got paint in it. Unleash the handy scrapper. We have resin, salt. If treating esophagus burns is undesirable, ah, yes, treating esophagus burns is indeed undesirable. No, I tell a lie, this was in fact the second largest reel of electrical tape I have ever seen. Also, the radiation sensor is completely Such indicating that it is. Tape tape. Engineers doubted the durability of the liner. Yeah, don't say. Well, let's keep pushing in, and ooh, we've got some markers up here. 1,200 meters, 1,600 meters, 1,500 meters. Those are all a very long way away. This is unhelpful. Is there anything closer? Hmm, maybe, maybe not. What's over here? Also, I am going to need to drop an oxygen station, I think. Well, that's fine. It gives me a jumping off point until the little garbage bots decide it's garbage and decide to collect it as a consequence, which would be highly unhelpful. Ooh. That does look interesting. Right, let's dump the oxygen station. Confirm. And there we go, refill. Tank, 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 tank up on oxygen. Of course, the fun part is that since the tank now contains far more oxygen, these stations aren't going to last quite so long. They need more uh, charges to keep them going. Which is going to turn this into an interesting exercise in logistics. Hello, toilet. Also, I may need the uh, chicken on a stick. 
maybe. No, however, I just want all of the water supplies. Also, tinfoil hat, really. Well, the man's attempt to preserve himself from radiation is well noted. It does not, however, appear to have preserved him from the high-velocity impact with the far wall. Also, salty packages and salt. Hmm. 30% best protection against mind influence. And also, possibly... I'm not sure that foil can protect the mind of the buyers of this product. On the other hand, it's impossible to protect something that is absent. Um... And on the other hand, if it is absent, you don't have to worry about it being taken over by the evil space aliens and their deadly mind control rays. Although they may not actually be that deadly, this is a matter of conjecture. After all, there's not much use mind controlling a zombie outside of a George Romero flick, but that's another match entirely. Right, fire zip up. Then. Judging by the steady melting of the rolls, there was a fire in the engineering modules, but it definitely was not the cause of the disaster. No, the giant explosion had more to do with that. Right, we have another coffin. So, breaks. And we have another encrypted tape. Have we got another engineering shuttle, though? Preferably somewhere I can tank up on oxygen before I completely run. Ooh, uh, that's either pink or honey. Either way, it was not a very pleasant way to go. Okay, bonk, plastic, metal, other stuff. Oh, hello, little bot. Yay, who's a good little bot? Who's certainly not going to try to murder me shortly after this is done? Okay, aha, 700 meters that way. Okay, the liner is a bit bigger than I thought it was. I made Some more oxygen stations. The fire the Apparently, the fire had spread even to the habitation modules. That's most unfortunate. A wobbly toy. Hmm. It appears we've had a very bad day. Okay, let's get back to the oxygen station. Tank up before this gets any rougher. Also, neutralize the electricity. Yes, I just used the immortal chicken on a stick to neutralize electricity. What? It's immortal. It's in the description. Alright, forwards, forwards, forwards. Always forwards, except when we're going backwards in an effort to re build another oxygen station and thereby plumb deeper into the depths of this cavern. Space cavern? Wreckage? Yes, wreckage is the right word, isn't it? Okay, we tank the suit. And... Done. So, burn for the next location. Past the uh, world's largest ball of LA. Oh, hang on. Ideally what I need is an info, but... An opened coffin will do. That was just ice, wasn't it? Yes. Still handy, can melt that into water. Alright. Hello, bot. Do you wanna play? You wanna play? Wanna play? No, it doesn't want to play. Right. Okay, that coffin's been opened. I don't know who's doing all this shocking looting of the dead. It really is an outrage. Something must be done. Possibly encouragement. What's over here? Um, oh yes, friend corpse, who did in fact have a very, very bad day. Let's just check the rest of this area out quickly. I don't think I'm missing anything. Except maybe here. Or maybe not. Okay. Back to the shuttle. I wonder if I can do it on a single run. 190 m Yeah, I can do that on a single run. 12 meters per second, about 85 seconds. I should be pretty good. Survivor dock next to me. Unfortunately, dock very high speed and explode. Hmm. I wonder why. Does somebody else make the mistake of listening to you, babe? Before docking at very high speed and then exploding. <sighs> okay, so build a couple more oxygen stations. 
and then see what we can do from there as we push deeper into the wreckage. Should be a simple plan. Absolutely a simple plan. Nothing can possibly go wrong with this very, very simple plan. Oh, am I kidding? Right. Is there an interphone on this thing, by the way? There does not appear to be. I might have to go and find one the hard way. Interphones? Interphones? No, no, no. Pity. Right. Chug some water. And... Hmm. That's probably a waste of space. This lot definitely is. Okay. And don't ask about that. Tape snur. Keep those handy as well. Electrical tape I've... Huh. Maybe got. Right. Backwards. There's an phone back at the uh, home base from Chapter 1, but I don't really want to troll all the way back there. That would be a bit of a trek for possibly very little. However, I can also do a more thorough exploration around here. And, ooh, you look interesting. You were out of range and out of sight before. I wonder if I can just take the long way around, well, the quick way around to there. Looks like, ah, Looks like it is in fact buried inside the asteroid, so I am going to have to troll right the way around to get to it. There's quite a lot of other interesting things out here. Is that a heap difficulty over there? Can't be. I mean, this is space. Space is by definition cold. Unless you are in the direct line of sight of a stellar body in close proximity, in which case it can get very, very hot. And also rather radioactive. But such things are not our immediate concern. 120 seconds, we are over. Corridors for staff members hmm. in the business class can cause claustrophobia, although they are extremely convenient and compact. I'm sure they are. Wow. Okay, scan the corridor blueprint. We have built, or rather learned how to build a corridor. Also, the immortal chicken has successfully neutralized more electricity. Hail the chicken. I would say a sacrifice was not in vain, but it didn't really sacrifice anything except possibly a few feathers and its goodwill towards me, such as there was in its tiny little velociraptor-shaped brain. If you are ever feeling guilty about eating chickens, by the way, do remember what they evolved from. It is revenge for all the uh, proto-monkeys their ancestors ate. Or possibly I'm just making that up to assuage my own guilt about the uh, chicken I had for lunch. Well bits of chicken. At least it claimed it was chicken. I assume it was chicken. So after a little bit of grinding and a bit of exploration, I have some critical components. Yes, vital technological advances can be made with not one, but two Sharma kebab things. Oh god, is that three we called Tabasco sauce and rat? Well... It all comes in handy because those, amongst other things, are what you need to make the large accelerator. Yes, I've got to eat two stale shramas. How? Yeah, do I have to? Really? Really? Yes, apparently, yes, I do. Luckily, it came with a clothes peg to stick over my nose, so it's not all bad. <laughs> okay, so that upgrades my. Accelerated to a charge of 50 rather than merely 20. So, yay for more speed. The gas byproducts, I'll just have to lift them. Built up another oxygen station. I can uh, drop that. Don't need it anymore. And now I suppose it's time to go and continue to pollute the cosmos by an infinitesimal degree. So, back into the radiation area. Remember, we're still looking for paint, a military-grade decryption option, some way to drop the radiation levels around here, and also possibly or possibly not a uh, babe. I suspect probably not, however, since thus far she's mostly been trying to get me killed. And possibly killing quite a few other people as well. Uh, do I recharge that tank? No, I don't. It's still got plenty in it, so that would be a waste. 
Oh, I can get up to 23 meters per second with this new booster. That's actually an improvement. The old one tapped out at 20. Past the biggest ball of electrical tape in the galaxy, or at least this little bit of it. Pick up some more metal. Won't bother with that. We'll just skim on past here. Again, fire the burners. And continue to explore. Obviously, tanking up as I go. And that's another 40 out of that. You know what? We will recharge this station. It's a bit of a waste, but... means it's done. Now, several things that are trying to attract my attention over here. One flashing red light. We have a couple more coffins. I should still have some charge left in the uh, magnetic master key. There we are. Oh, I've opened that one already. Boo! Alright, let's explore further. Why is there a flashing red light over here? Why is this trying to attract my attention? Or maybe it's trying to say, go away, go away, there is nothing but death here for you. One or the other, I'm not actually sure which. Ah, a chair. And a dead astronaut. And a... Up the chair and also the garbage collection. I need the drill. Okay. Not got much charge left in this drill. Have to be a little careful, but. Ah, electronics. Okay, fair enough. I suppose the next thing to do is to push further on. Make like spot. Let's go find whatever. Oh, is that another shuttlecraft over there? Handy, handy, handy. Please say that thing's life support is on. It does not look promising. That would appear to be a uh, busted front end. This is front... running autonomous oxygen station. Oh, good. Bizarre. Where? Ah, working autonomous oxygen station. Hooray! Hopefully, I can start making some working autonomous oxygen stations so that I don't have to keep. Interesting design. The wiring hmm. schemes of the steering wheel are even less complicated than in the pleasure ships. Really? Do you I have working oxygen? Station here, if I've understood the blueprint correctly. However, I need a repair tool for that. I will, however, grab myself this. Shame on you when your underpants show through. Yep, stay alert. Ripped pants can make you hurt. Apparently someone begged to differ. Monitoring the condition of a working suit is a necessity and is especially relevant in space. The suit's not wrong here. What's this? Floral pattern saucer. A gift saucer. Yay! Then I buried it in the garden and didn't tell anyone about missing saucers. I should probably deploy my oxygen station outside just to be safe. Or I could try and put a, push a bit further in, get the materials to build a repair tool somewhere else, one of the other busted shuttles, and then Apparently, try and fix that station. Here, temporarily. Yeah. Okay, so what did he do? And yes, I really should deploy my oxygen station. Deploy to slot one, install, and confirm. And then proceed to not suffocate. Because this is an important detail. Tank, 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 up we go. Yet you can stop the ominous music game. My oxygen levels are quite satisfactory, thank you very much. There we go. Okay, let's just go and Judging check out our antennas, survivor. This is either a communication point or a communication point from another side of the liner. In any case, there's a chance to find Normandy and the other survivors. During the Hooray! Bridge, I managed to take measurements of your body to order common, but it didn't come in handy after all. I'd like to note, you're in great shape. Keep it up. You're almost not so fat. Yay! Also, what the hell happened here? Let me see. We have a uh, splattered asteroid. What appears to be wiring of some description? A busted Something somewhat jury-rigged shuttlecraft. A fire extinguisher. Fire extinguishers are rarely used on spaceships. You either burn something and blow up the ship, or you don't. In which case, there's nothing to extinguish. Although such cases do happen. So he jury-rigged the fire extinguisher here and um, was ooh, a picture of the liner. Yay! It's a very pretty rocket ship. 
Nothing on the back. We'll leave that. Uh, first aid kit. Water, water. Hmm. Okay, right. Three tank oxygen quickly. Then we'll check out our splattered friend and find out what he was doing with that asteroid. Huge dead man without head fly past me. I calculate and give you the court. Oh, thank you, babe. Hmm. I still don't trust her. It. I mean, we're assuming it's her from the image. And the name. I could be completely wrong. I mean, um, it's not even a valid assumption that uh, whatever sending that is human. I mean, the suits are perfectly chatty AI. And, well, it's definitely not a meat bag. It is a bag for a meat bag, but it's not a meat bag. Bag of meat? Ah, who cares? Right. Asteroid and impaled astronaut. What were you doing here? Unfortunately, the skillful engineer turned out to be a less skillful driver. Yes, that is most, most unfortunate. His insurance is not going to cover that. A miracle of engineering. This vacuum cleaner flew fast, but not for too long. Hmm. So the vacuum cleaner went and went and... Oh. Oh, dear. Um, <laughs> so he hits here, bounces, and then, well, physics happened. Okay. First things first. Neutralize the electricity. Chicken, I need you. There we go. Now, pull this out from the stone. We have the rocket vacuum cleaner. Yay! I have my first vehicle. It needs fuel, however. I don't think I'm able to get any fuel. But, uh... I can always make some. I've got plenty of resin back at the shuttle, so that won't be too hard to solve. What's this? Yoink. Patched underpants. Hmm. These underpants will last for at least another ten years. Right. To the Hoover. Let us sit. And angle towards the auction tank. And we feel that burn. Also, possibly feel the need for brakes. Okay, how do I get off? Um, not that. Not that. Side step. Exit. Ah, right, mouse button. That is worth knowing. Okay, refill oxygen station again. We'll drive this back to the shuttlecraft, then we shall get ourselves properly fueled up, and then we'll bring it back and explore further. I may also need to actually retank this station immediately. I need a generator. Okay. Sit. Add burners. And away we go. I also need to build a repair tool so we can get that autonomous oxygen station working, which will help quite considerably. So, trundle, 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 trundle. Oh, try not to smack into anything. More speed. All the speed, all the, oh, is that aluminium? Yes, but I've got plenty back at the shuttlecraft at the moment, so that's not an issue. Also, this will make getting back to the info phone at the home base of the Liner Crash in Chapter 1 much easier. I can go and decode those tapes, can't I? Hooray! Bonus, etc. Right, let's park up. Exit vehicle. Yes, it is a bold invention, sir. I salute you. It's certainly an improvement on the extra strong farts. Okay, stuff. Stuff, stuff, stuff. What do I need? First and foremost, a repair form. I need aluminium, refined metal, and thick electrical tape. 
it's worth noting at this point that I think I may, in fact, be out of rubber. We'll grab the encrypted tapes and refined metal, and I, yes, I think I am, in fact, out of rubber. That's unfortunate, to say the least. Transfer that. And that. I see coffins with arms, legs, and blaster flying by. Ah. Yes. Babe is um, definitely not to be trusted at this point. Why would I... Oh, yes, of course. You know who that is, don't you? It's the uh, Robot Mafia. The Robot Coffin Mafia. And if that makes even less sense than anything else in this game, go and watch the intro to Chapter 1. It, uh... Yeah, <clears throat> some things should be interesting. Right. So we have metal, we have plastic, we have oh yes, resin. Resin, 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 resin. resin. Let's see, processor, resources, composites. It's in here somewhere. Items. Here we are. Fuel. Perfect. Grandpa's distillery was excellent training for this kind of thing. Right down to learning how to explain away scorched eyebrows. I uh, also want a couple of oxygen generators for later use. And that pretty much covers everything of immediate need here. Yeah. We should be good to take the encrypted takes back to the uh, info phone and get them analysed. So, out we go. Tank up the uh, rocket. We have 30 fuel per. Do I have enough fuel to get where I need to be? Probably not. So just remember that 23 fuel is now the limit for this thing. Also, 15 seconds of oxygen, excuse me. Uh, excuse. Hey, get back in there. Precision maneuvering is all. Precision maneuvering. Of course, the other thing I can do while I'm back over here is I can pick up some paint. Huh. This might actually work out quite nicely. Just so long as I trundle in approximately the right direction. And don't freeze while I'm going past all the cooling gel. Which would be bad. You know, the thought of course, I could probably have just take in a straight line, but, well, I'm following my oxygen stations again. Because I'm totally a creature of habit, and forgot I now have something in excess of twice the oxygen capacity that I did before. And I can therefore head straight back to the info phone, and only really need to tank up once. Forwards! Forwards! It looks like an underage child's cabin. I hope we won't find any dead children here, otherwise we will never escape the attacks of human rights activists. Hmm. I have a sudden urge to explore. Never, tr never looked at this place in Chapter 1. Oh, that's pretty. Wet. what? Okay. Totally not copyright. Mr. Sort of Libta. Really? <laughs> really? The famous superhero. Propaganda against sexism, racism, and all other isms. I don't know what to say. They didn't show that on the box when I was a kid. Hmm. Can't imagine why. Right. Well, that's what. Ah, the grumpy chicken. It is, in fact, a grumpy chicken. 
This grumpy beast brood will break your ribs, little do 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 Scientists have uh, proved that an adult playing with toys increases not only the production of endorphins in the body, but also the conceit of others. Ah, uh, ha! Yes, totally. It seems right. that the drawings are made by an adult, or a foot. It's not possible to identify this precisely. Hmm, no, it isn't. Right, let's actually go find something with oxygen. Suffocating with an improved capacity oxygen tank would be highly embarrassing. To say the least. Happily, that is not a risk here, because I have sealed all my oxygen stations from chapter one, and I is careful usual, and I came properly prepared. Honest. So, fill up the tank. There we go. Back to the vacuum cleaner. And we don't ask about handcuffs. No, really, don't ask about handcuffs. And here we are, home sweet home. Well, temporarily. I'm more interested in this place because it happens to have an info phone in it. Can we do something with the tapes? Hmm. Let's see. Insert videotape. I have no videotapes except the Space Survival Guide. I appear to have been led upon a wild goose chase. As in, the info here does not wish to actually cooperate. That is somewhat vexing. Oh well, I can always pick up the paint, and the nutritious goo, and the scissors, and some of the other useful stuff I left behind when I cleared out of here at some speed. Chapter 1 being what it was. Okay, equipment. Let's see, I, ha I need more paint. A lot more paint. One little shot of paint isn't going to cut it, unsurprisingly. So, we shall jump back on the bike. And, yes. What can I say? Some things are best not too carefully explained. Mostly. Put it this way, I, uh, I'd like to think he died moderately happy, or at least only slightly confused. Now, oh, what's this? Novichok, Shock, 50 milligrams placebo film coated tablets. Hmm, male potency tablets. I ate whole in the kid because I thought they were sweet. And then I discovered, and uh, yes, well, uh, <clears throat> chalk, coal, water, sugar, ascorbic acid. And it appears that he has used one, and then discovered that in fact these don't work. And why would you want the support of the paper? An oh, yes. Yeah, uh, babe, it's not happening. Definitely not happening at all, ever. Right, let's pop a handy scrapper. Get back here. But look, just because I'm trying to smack you to pieces does not mean you have to fly off the handle like that. Honest. No, really, it doesn't. And then we have the note. He betrayed our marriage, pervert, cheater, he deserved it. Waiting in cabin for the wife, you're Sergei. Hmm. The note is written by a woman who can professionally handle stationary items. The mystery is solved. The evidence is um, collected. The investigation is successfully completed. It is obvious that the victim was poisoned by a Novichok chemical weapon for treason. This is confirmed by the cipher from a note that the female agent lost at the scene of the crime. Some special agency clearly had a hand in this. I'm not entirely sure I followed that conclusion, but I will not argue with you. Largely because arguing with a spacesuit is probably rather pointless. So, paint. We need paint. 
We also need oxygen. But paint is important. Uh, alcohol, yes it is, perfect. For those of you wondering, alcohol is considered an important ingredient in your standard first aid kit, consisting of a uh, bottle of alcohol and a bit of rag with which to wipe your wounds. Anything else? Well, there are herbal remedies. And for everything else, there's Novichok. Okay. And... Let's see, the paint was... Down here. Yes, rather a lot of it, in fact. We Really, rather a lot of it, in fact. When we search, you need a drill to get this stuff. So, we will decelerate. Then we'll exit the bike without the drill. And find ourselves an empty tank. Hmm. That's annoying. Is there a not empty tank of paint here? Hello, paint. Or possibly just a um, mineable paint. It's, uh, salvageable paint. There we go. That's two. There's the rest of the paint. I have a several thousand gallons of solidified paint here and no way to collect it. This is somewhat irritating. Also, I only have 70 seconds of oxygen left. Oh, the man says. Okay. Luckily, I left the canister out here. So I can rapidly refill my oxygen, and then we can go back into the search for paint. And also remember that I may in fact need to watch my reserves a little more closely since I am draining almost all my old oxygen stations, which is inconvenient. Right, paint, 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 paint. lovely paint, 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 paint. Have we got some canisters of paint? Have we got some loose paint flying around? Either would work. Lead plate, somewhat less useful. Um, what about over here? Lead, lead, and... Well, we'll grab some lead anyway. You never know, I might need that for radiation shielding as well. Um... Paint splatters, paint splatters, paint splatters, paint splat. There we are. That's three. And where's four? Where's four? Where's four? Where's four? Right. I'm just wondering if I can break that up, but it says it's not interactable, so no such luck. Um, paint, paint, paint. Ah, there we go. We have four. Excellent. We have all the paint we need. We have also got the inside of a very large paint vat, which is not where I need to be going. Hit the burners. Let's go. 80 seconds of oxygen. Hmm. Ah, that looks like where we will find the military grade decoding gear that we need. So convenient of somebody to point it out for me. So, quickly over to the front frozen gel in order to pick up some more option. Then we'll head back, build the improved suit helmet, or either just slap a load of paint on the suit helmet. And from there, it should be a simple hop to get the decrypting gear we need in order to uh, mess about with various things, including, but not limited to, those tapes. So, refill oxygen. And then I also need to make a repair tool, don't I? So we can fix the oxygen station on the approach to what looks like a new base area. Oh, while we're here, just grab my magnetic crowbar. See if I can open that. No, I need a magnetic mask key. I have a magnetic mask key. 
and it was empty. And I'm sure the Breath Edge Company will not be racking up the fines and various body parts they are entitled to remove as a result of my little run of trespassing. Okay, let's swing this out. Try not to fly into anything. Which is rather hard when you can't actually see where you're going. Now we have a clear vector. Fires the burners! I am absolutely not proceeding at unsafe velocities through a faceplate that I cannot see towards a place that might possibly involve colliding with various obstacles at high speed. This is in fact a completely safe method of making progress, and I am vindicated by the fact that I have cleared my faceplate in time to see the giant rock that I was heading towards at brain smearing velocity. This was of course completely planned, intentional, and could not possibly have gone wrong in any way, shape, or form. And if you believe that, I have a bridge to sell you. So, back we go. Earned about six fuels so far. Okay, so this thing's got plenty of range on it. Not bad gas mileage for a uh, 0.5 horsepower vacuum cleaner. Tap the brakes. Exit scooter. Refresh oxygen supplies and check the fabricator to see what we need in order to make our helmet. I need glass and aluminium, which I should have in storage over here. Let's see. One shot aluminium and two shots glass. Perfect. Improved radiation protection and massively reduced visibility. Oh! Also, if you are in the mood for retro animation setups, a much lower requirement for character modeling. This had better not backfire on me. The radiation level is much lower. That's great. I'll give you directions. Fly to the left. Or to be more precise, to the right. Your other right, which is at the top. Okay, that was a bad idea. Um, I may not have thought this through. Does anyone have transparent radiation proof paint? No? Well, that's going to be highly unfortunate. Still, it's something we can solve next time. Until then, farewell.